Hello folks, this is Jamil Sweat at Gunstruck Reviews and today we're going to do a quick install of the Mesa Tactical Sight Saddle onto our Remington 870 uh, shotgun or in this case the 870 TAC-14 uh, firearm. So first things first, things first we're going to make sure that the shotgun or in this case a firearm it is completely unloaded. We're going to visually look in the chamber and use our finger in there just to make sure that digitally it is an empty chamber and we have a, an empty shotgun or a firearm in this case. Now hold this back and the first things we're going to do is we're going to take the sight saddle and they send this optional rubber uh, gasket, I call it, that goes in between the sight saddle and the uh, 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 firearm and we are going to install it uh, so it prevents the aluminum frame from marring or scratching your firearm. So in this case we're going to start by carefully cleaning this surface a little bit. This thing had acetone on it and we clean it really quickly so it dries quicker and we're going to use a towel to remove the lint make sure your hands are clean of any um, oils or anything like that and then you take this this gasket and it's like a self sticky um, material I'll remove the sticky material from it and you're going to install it see there's six screws in here and there's this notches in there and they go between the screws And what this thing is going to do is going to prevent the aluminum from scratching uh, the surface of the shotgun, or in this case, the firearm. I'm going to bring the shotgun in, and it comes with uh, screws and washers to properly, and Allen wrenches to properly attach the shotgun. Well, the first thing we're going to do is remove the factory pins. Um, there are tools specifically for this, but I'm just going to use um, a screwdriver uh, head to punch these out. First, punch them out, and use the factory the the screws that come with the kit to push them out completely. They're kind of oily, so. Um, be careful with it. So we're going to install the pin that comes with a with a kit and it goes real easy in there and the, uh, the button side there's two sides. There's a wedge screw, countersunk screw and a button side screw. So the button side screw is going to get a washer and it's going to screw on this side. We're going to leave it loose for the time being. We're not going to tighten it too much. We're just going to do it by hand. And then we're going to remove the other pin using, actually on this side, it's going to be fairly easy because you take this side uh, the longer screw, because it's a two-part screw, one has a button head and the other side has a wedge. Take the button head side and using the same screw tip, you're going to push this one out. You might have to tap it a little bit. I use a screwdriver head to tap it out. Now you have um, your, your uh, firearm is now ready to accept the sight saddle. Uh, one cool thing about um, Remington shotguns, and in this case a firearm, 
is that the serial number is right here above um, uh, the trigger guard. And what Mesa Tactical is doing is that their sight saddle has a cutout. When you install it, it will show the serial number clearly so you're not going to have any issues with your serial number being hidden or anything like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on the other side of the sight saddle and we're going to start with either or screws. This is the one on the back which is the normal wedge screw, the countersunk screw. And we're going to carefully put it in there. And we'll do it by hand. Okay, and the next one you take the longer one which is the one of the two-part screw that we took apart. Put it in there. And this is where you're going to need your Allen wrenches. Um, they send you two because you're going to need two of them. You're going to tighten it until you're kind of hand tight. You're not going to go too tight on it. And you're going to put one on one side. Like this side. And the other side. And you're going to... One goes one way, the other one goes the other way. And don't go too tight with them. I mean, there's no need for you to torque um, the screws too much. Specifically, this is a pump action shotgun. It doesn't affect it too much if you torque it, but in a semi-auto like the 1100, if you torque it too tight, it's going to affect and impede the workings of the semi-auto shotgun. That I had that happen to me once and it wasn't pleasant. Um, then on, this, on the back side, you're going to make sure that you put your screw head in the right position, tighten it until it stops. And then, like I did before, we're going to put one on one side, and one on the other side, and proceed to tighten until it's hand tight. Okay. Now we have properly installed the Mesa Tactical. Um, sight saddle onto the side of the firearm okay and it's really nice and tight and now that we're gonna properly cycle it to make sure that it cycles correctly okay and make sure that everything is working properly we're gonna look inside again make sure we still have an empty firearm pull the trigger make sure everything works So we're ready to go to the range and uh, test fire this firearm and now we have enough room to have the proper amount of ammunition. We're going to have five rounds, four in the tube, one in the shot shell in the chamber and six extra rounds for a test.